morning everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Tracy and I am losing weight following the Slim and World plan and today's video is a weigh-in update and I'm really sorry but I'm running late this morning. I plan to get up early and do my weigh-in and everything, film the video and all that and get ready for work and everything but I uh, decided not to get up early. I just needed a little extra 20 minutes in bed so now I'm filming this while I'm doing my hair, so I'm really sorry, I'm going off to have to straighten my hair and everything. I've got so much to do, I literally can't even, I don't have enough time, there's not enough, there's not enough hours in the day for me at the minute. After today, I am off work for a full week, but all I plan on doing in that week is studying because I'm so behind with my coursework and everything for my dispenser course. I need to get this video filmed now before I go to work because I'll need to edit Another video when I come home from work so that I can have tomorrow just do nothing. I'm not even going to film my meals or anything tomorrow. I need a day off because I've not had a completely day off from work, YouTube, housework, everything. I've not had a complete day off to enjoy anything in so long. And all I plan on doing tomorrow is catching up with Drag Race. That is a really long introduction. I'm really sorry. I need to get on with my hair. I don't know. I'm obviously in a chatty mood. <laughs> yeah, so this past week has been really good on Slim and World. No, that's a lot of shite. I'm already blathering shite. It started off really shaky because I wasn't feeling well. I don't know what I had. I can't even tell you what I had. I need to start learning about all these different viruses and everything, but it wasn't sickness or anything. It was just, I think I've said already, aches and pains and fatigue. Although that might be something to do with all the crap that I've been doing. I've not had a proper break since Buddy Chris. Well, when was the last time I had time off? Apart from the odd day for which I'd taken off for things, I think the last time I actually had a proper break was the week before I started this job. I had a week off in between my jobs. Anyway, started off quite shaky, wasn't feeling too great, was craving chips. I don't know what kind of bug makes you crave chips, but it wasn't just me that was craving chips. The girls at my work were all craving chips as well. Everybody that Friday was like, I really want chips. Maybe it's like the domino effect where one, some, one person says that and then everybody else is like, oh, that sounds really good, that sounds really good. So we actually all sat, four of us, five of us, sat and had chips for our lunch that day. I had chips and cheese and then I came home from work and had a snooze. My shopping came it was quite late at night and I was like, I just got a big shop and I was like, what can I have? What can I make? I want haggis. I'd had haggis the night before and I still wanted haggis. So I just ordered some haggis fritters for the chippy. And then Saturday, I don't actually think I ate much on Saturday. Came to tea time. Like I said, just got the big shop on the Friday night. Came to tea time and I was like, I don't want anything that I've got. I do not want any of my summer world food. I do not want to make food. I was still feeling crap. I'd actually slept all day on the Saturday. I'm not straightening my hair and that's what I should be doing. I'm going to go to work so soon. So Ali and I just got Chinese. We got salt and chilli chips for the Chinese. I wanted chips again. I did enjoy the crap that I ate. I was just craving junk foods. Just that. And you know what? I feel guilty about it always at the time and that and then I'm like I've been here before I'm just going to get on with it I woke up on the Sunday and I was like no nah, I need to get back on Summer World because if I keep going down this road I'm not going to get back off it this week anyway so anyway I woke up on Sunday I did feel so much better because I'd had a lot of rest on the Saturday and honestly I'd had so much chips by then I was like I'm not needing them any longer well, does people have weird cravings when they're like ill and that? Like some, a lot, oh, I did have Lucas Aid when I wasn't the couple of days because I don't know when I was younger and we didn't feel well. My mum used to get us Lucas Aid, so anytime that I'm sick or that now, I just want Lucas Aid. I could get the sniffles and I'm like, oh, it's Lucas Aid time. I have done really well with Lucas Aid actually since I've been back on Slum and World because I was drinking it so much before. 
but because you can't get a sugar free well you can get they did have a sugar free version but it was so hard to get i was able to get it at my last one at, God, a job that I was doing a couple of years ago because sometimes I'd be down in North Berwick and there was a co-op there that done sugar-free lookazade. But it's the only place I've ever found it. Anyway, I digress again. So, when I woke up on Sunday and I felt so much better, I decided that's it. I am getting back on plan. I have no excuse, no reasonable excuse to stay off plan. And I wasn't really wanting all the crap food then anyway. I then obviously felt much better. So, I got back on plan and I was back on plan for five days. It's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm so bad at trying to do like too many things at once. And our meals were lovely this week. I'm, I think I said that last week as well. I have been enjoying a lot of my meals and that. I mean, maybe last night I just had pesto pasta, which I love pesto pasta, but it's the jar stuff, the light stuff. It's not the most amazing pesto in the world, but that was just a quick meal because it was just me that I was cooking for. Ali went away out with his friend. His girlfriend, oh it was his girlfriend's birthday, that's where he was away. Yeah, so, meals were really nice. Honestly, I have to, if I didn't, have I linked it? I've not even uploaded the video, but hopefully I've remembered to link the recipe for the pork carnitas, the Mexican pulled pork, because that was so delicious. Oh my god, so good. And I think I already said this in the video, but <laughs> see when you have to trim the fat off the pork shoulder or a pork joint or something, it's horrible because it's like all the way through it as well. It's not like an easy cutting off the rind type thing. It's It was all the way through it and it was like, oh my God, it took me so long. It took me so long and my back was hurting and everything when I made it. But it was well worth it because that meal was so delicious. I had hoped that... We were going to have a lot more than we did have. I hoped it would do a couple of meals. Three or four meals or that. Because it was a massive pork joint and there was only two of us. But by the time I cut all the fat off it, it was like probably half the size that it looked in the video. But it did do us two meals and we had that Sunday and Monday. And I used to try so many more new recipes I feel like when I first started on Summer World or the last, well a couple of years ago when I was on Summer World but oh, it's so hard to get the time and the energy to actually look for recipes and all that now I'm trying, I'll see something that I like and then I'll go oh I wonder if I can make that Summer World like um, the pork carnitas, I think I was watching somebody's vlog and all that and they had pork carnitas and I was like, what is that? And looked it up and I looked at a recipe and I was like, this is actually, if you take the oil out, it's Slimmer World friendly. I don't know why you'd need oil in a bloody slow cooker recipe anyway, but yeah. And then there's a ramen one as well, that was another thing. I think it's the same person that I was watching on YouTube actually. They... Um, they, they had the ramen and all that and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could make that. And it's, I really like pho. I've made that before, but it's quite rich and it takes quite a while to make the broth and everything. But the ramen ones, the recipe I found so much simpler. Um, that is, I'm going to have that at some point over the next week, the ramen one. So... If anybody has any good recipe suggestions, Slimmer World recipe suggestions, let me know in the comments below because I am looking for new ones. It's just, honestly, at the minute, I'm just, I feel swamped. I'm so swamped at the minute. So I didn't, I didn't get a lot of my stuff. I didn't get any studying done. Of any of my coursework done over the Christmas period. I uh, uploaded a video every single day in Vlogmas and it came at the expense of doing my coursework, which was fine with and everything, but now I've like been trying to catch up with that and I'm like snowed under. It's so much work, so much studying. My brain is frazzled half the time. I, I just can't concentrate on so many things at once. Like I've got full-time work, I've got Ali to look after. Thankfully he's 16 now and he does a lot of stuff himself but I still need to, you know, do general mum things like washing, housework and everything. 
like I'm doing all the housework in the house and he does actually help out quite a bit like the days the week that I've done six days was that last week or the week before when I've done the Saturday at work he actually done the hoovering for me so that was really nice of him and um, yeah I'm just I, I honestly haven't even seen my dad since well I saw my dad at the start of the month I think it was Ooh. I've not seen my mum I don't think I've seen my mum since Christmas day I see my brothers if they pop here. Like I've not seen anybody apart from Mark. I think anybody that's come to my house, I've seen, but I've not actually physically went to see anybody in so long because I'm just like at the weekends and in the evenings, so busy. I'm editing videos, or that's why I'm trying to film this now because I have to edit a video when I come home from work tonight. And I have promised myself I'm going to take the day off tomorrow, like, proper off. I know I had Saturday, last Saturday in my bed, but I wasn't well. It wasn't the same. It wasn't, like, proper rest. I just need to switch myself off. And I also need to catch up with Drag Race because I haven't even watched one single episode of Drag Race and it started back at the start of January. Can you believe it? Oh, this is turning into a really windy video, is it? I'm really sorry. It's meant to be a way and update, it's not slim and world oriented. I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything at the minute. So hopefully in the next week I can get things sorted out, catch up with my coursework and all that, and then I can just feel a little bit less whelmed. Because <laughs> I do I am overwhelmed at the minute. And that's why I'm talking so much probably. I probably just need to speak about it and it'll make me feel better. Anyway, let me show you what the scale said when I stepped on them this morning. So if you could see that, I weighed in at 11 stone, 6.5 pound, which I was really, really pleased with because I did not expect that. I did not deserve that, actually, because I had been, even though I'd been ill, I didn't deserve it because I had been really naughty on the Friday and Saturday. I did not deserve that. It was a 1.5 pound loss. Didn't deserve it. I was quite shocked, actually. But obviously, pleased and everything, it's still a loss, but... I would have been absolutely fine if it had been again. I was expecting again because I had been pretty bad, pretty naughty. And it would have served me right to have again. Or I maintain. Isn't it so weird? I say this all the time, but isn't some of world so weird? Or the human body? Because I had a full week, a couple of weeks ago, I had a full week on plan and had a maintain. In the last two weeks, there's been, because of me being not well and all that, there's been, like, bad food involved and had losses both the weeks. It's just so freaking weird. I don't understand it. But one thing that is to my credit is I didn't overeat on any of the days or that. I think I basically just had, like, I didn't eat anything after my dinners. Although, to be fair, on the Friday night, it was, like, back at 11. no. Yeah, it was about 11 o'clock or something because I'd had a nap. I woke up, done the shopping haul and then ordered something to eat. So yeah, I didn't binge eat or anything like that. I didn't go over the top. It was just making the wrong, wrong choices at meal times and that. But I should have had a gain. I should have had a gain. That was a loss of one pound. Did I say one and a half? I think I said one and a half. I weighed in at 11 stone, six and a half and I lost one pound. And that means I've got one stone, six and a half pound to go to Target. So I really would like to get there before we go on holiday, but that's like in June and I don't know if I can. What is this February, March, April, May? Oh, it's four months still. I guess I've lost nearly two stone since September. So how many months is... No, since the start of October. Oh, November, December, January... Yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I can do it. Because it's nearly... It's three... Four months, sorry, since I started. And I've lost just 
under two stone, so I've still got like a stone and a half to go. Just under a stone and a half, and it's four months away. If I really focus, I can do it, if I really focus. But I know there's going to be times where I'm off plan, like... I'm going to either my mum's or dad's next week, so I know that'll be like an off plan meal. And then the following week I'll be at one of their houses, because I, I just don't know what, what way I'm doing it. Um... Because I really want to see my mum and my dad. And then there's birthday celebrations and all that coming up as well. Like I've had two nephews turn 18 in the last month. Another one's turning 18 next week. I'm going out for his birthday. I've not even got off a full week on plan this week. And then once this week's passed, when this week's passed with the studying and everything, hopefully that takes a load off my shoulders and I can actually focus more on Slimming World and meal prep and all that. Because I'm not going to lie, I have just been like probably buying things that are just uh, I think in my last week did I not speak about I want to try and be so much more cost effective and uh, budget friendly and everything my budget friendly with my shopping and all that and then um, Ali's like you got the lamb shanks they're really expensive and they're, they are they're so expensive the lamb shanks that I bought and the brisket and everything they're not cheap and I'm like why am I doing this I just spoke about what would be more budget friendly which is why when I went to Aldi, I did buy the cheaper steak. I was like, I need to, I need to actually be more budget friendly. So I am trying. But once I've got this next week out of the way, my study week, I am going to try and be more focused on Slimming World and everything like that. I can't focus on everything at once. So I'm really sorry if you're getting even shitter quality videos than normal. It's just because I'm rushing them, probably. I am rushing them, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm a, I've got a little bit of a backlog because of the bloody PC not working and everything. Anyway, how's your weeks going? How's it all going? How is your Slimming World journey or your weight loss journey? Let me know in the comments below. And like I said, if you have any good rest, Slimming World recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. And I'll look into them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I'm really, really, really sorry if it was a windy one. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Hopefully next time and next week's video, I'll be like more zen. More zen.